I want to do this video on Shannon Briggs because Shannon Briggs now has become a bit of a, a cult figure and a legend in his own way. Um, Shannon Briggs, I remember watching Shannon Briggs growing up when he was knocking all these guys out and people were wanting to find the remedy, wanted to find the cure, wanted to find the way, the man that was going to be the first man to inflict a defeat on Mike Tyson. And people were thinking this guy, Shannon Briggs, who was knocking everybody out, would have been the guy who possibly could have given Tyson a run for his money because he was knocking everybody out and thinking, yeah, him and Tyson would be a great fight. That was around the time uh, Marvin Hagler, and people were all saying, oh, Hagler should step up to heavyweight and fight Mike Tyson. I mean, you even had ludicrous things like Hulk Hogan said he would step in the ring and fight Mike Tyson. He got really silly because Tyson at one point was deemed invincible or saw how his uh, PR machine would have got him and he was knocking guys out let's get it straight he was knocking guys out and um, anyway Shannon Briggs got stopped his first fight he got stopped in a shock defeat to Darrell Wilson Darrell Wilson um, Briggs then said he had um, asthma and uh, then he went on, I believe Briggs went on and won, eventually went and won the a version of the world title. He uh, fought, he got beat by Darrell Wilson, like I said, in 1996. His then next big fight was against Big George Foreman, who he won a majority decision. He then challenged Lennox Lewis for the WBC Championship of the World. Got stopped in five rounds, despite rocking Lewis. In the first and second round. And then again. He then fought Franz Botha. Then you have to look again at his record. He fought Jamil McClain. Then he fought an old Ray, Ray Mercer. Dimitri, Demetrius King. And then. Uh, he fought Lykovic. Who he knocked out in the last round. I believe he was behind him points. He then lost the, the title to Sultan Bragamich, Bragamov. Then he went and fought Vitaly Klitschko. Lost the unanimous point decision. The Klitschko dismantled uh, Briggs, beating him up in every single round. You know, it was a it was a one sided affair. Briggs then made this comeback uh, in 2014, and since his comeback in 2014. The only name you could really look on the record is Rafael Zumbano Love, whom of course fought Anthony Joshua, and Joshua destroyed him inside of three rounds. If you look at the guy since Briggs has made his comeback, there's really nobody on that record. Okay, here's the sort of guys that Briggs has fought. Um, since the Vitaly Klitschko fight, he's fought guys like... Um, Maurizio Smith, who had a record of 12 fights, 8 defeats, or 8 losses, and 3, 8, eight 20, 12, 8, and 3. He fought a guy called Morisco, I can't even pronounce his name, 17 and 8. Matthew Gert, 16 and 12. L Love, 34 and 7 losses. Corey Phelps, 16 and 6 losses. Richard Carmack, 12 and 5 losses. Zoltan Petrani, 51 fights, 21 losses. And his last fight, Michael Marone, 24 fight, 21 fights, 4 losses. Now, Briggs has fought nobody in the top 10. In fact, he's not fought anybody in the top 20. And in fact, I would probably argue if Briggs has fought anybody in the top 30 since... 2010 we now in 2015 Shannon Briggs is best known for walking around going let's go champ that's how people recognize Shannon Briggs let's go champ let's go champ let's go champ and he's also known he's referred to as the guy that goes around and uh, hunts down Vladimir Klitschko going let's go champ and lots of these comical videos of him and Klitschko getting going at it that's how Shannon Briggs is referred to. Uh, and the younger audience who don't really know the record of Shannon Briggs and what Shannon Briggs has accomplished in his career 
will seem as that. Now, I had a debate with a young man earlier on who said, Shannon Briggs should be fighting um, Deontay Wilder. Because uh, Shannon Briggs can punch. Yes, Shannon Briggs can punch. And if you look at all the opponents he fought there, then his comeback trail shows he's a big puncher. But Shannon Briggs hasn't fought anybody in those four to five fights he's had his comeback that A, is willing to stand up and hit him back. B, has the, has the ability to stand back and hit him back. And three, nobody who's ranked in the top 10, not even in the top 20. And again, even arguably in the top 30. So if Briggs has not fought anybody in the top 30, I know there is debate about Wilder's next opponent, Duapas, but at least Duapas fought Manuel Shah, and he just recently fought Tepa, and Tepa's the European champion. At least he's fought somebody you recognise in the top 30 or top 20. Shannon Briggs now is a cult figure. Shannon Briggs now really... I'm sorry, you cannot put Shannon Briggs in the ring with Vladimir Klitschko. Nor should he be in the ring with Deontay Wilder, I'm sorry. Shannon Briggs, for him to be taken seriously by all the world governing bodies, to be taken seriously by, um, you know, the champions Wilder and Klitschko, he needs to fight someone in the top 10. That's absolutely... Because what will happen... It's the same old people that say he should fight Klitschko, he should fight Wilder. When he gets knocked out or when the fight's announced, people say, why is Shannon Briggs fighting Klitschko? Why is Shannon Briggs fighting Wilder? It's a joke fight. You cannot justify it. If you can give me one justifiable reason, apart from let's go champ and Shannon Briggs being entertaining outside of the ring, Shannon Briggs couldn't do anything against an aged Vlad uh, Vitaly Klitschko. Vitaly Klitschko beat him around the ring for 12 rounds. Do you really want to see Vladimir do that? And probably worse. Because Briggs is not any better in 2015. I'd say he's absolutely worse. But nobody's hitting back. Put him in with a top 10 heavyweight and see what he can do. Somebody said, yeah, put him in the ring of Anthony Joshua. Okay. But if Joshua hit him in the chin and he fell over and around, what would you say? And the motivation behind Shannon Briggs. I love Shannon Briggs. Don't get me wrong. I love Shannon Briggs. But why is Shannon Briggs still boxing? Is it because he's got a lot of money in the bank? I don't think so. He may have some money in the bank. But he wants that last payday. He wants that last shot at the world title. But his shot was against Vitaly Klitschko. Then he should have taken his opportunity. He couldn't. He's not going to take his opportunity against Wilder. He's certainly not going to take his opportunity against uh, Vladimir Klitschko. So... You know, he's got a puncher's chance against lower level opposition. But against a top opposition, Vitaly Klitschko, Lennox Lewis, um, you know, uh, Ibragimov, Daryl Wilson. You know, those guys, anytime anyone's been able to stand up to Briggs and take his punch power after the first couple of rounds, forget it. You know, Briggs' days as a world title challenger... And a top 10 heavyweight are done. Sorry to break the myth. Sorry to break the let's go champ. But let's not go champ. Uh, I think you know Briggs can carry and do what he's doing. Fighting at a lower level. Go and fight in prize fighter. But no. No, 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 no. Sorry. I don't endorse a fight with him and, and Wilder. Nor him and Klitschko. That's just being honest. And I love Shannon Briggs. You know. Um... Why would you want to see that when his young up and coming fighters prepared to fight in the top ten and prepared to fight the the the, the light final little laters and put themselves in position of dangerous fights? Why? Let him fight somebody in the top ten. Let Briggs fight some like uh, Joseph Parker. Let him fight uh, I don't know. Let him fight someone else. But not. I tell you what? Let him go and fight Derek Chisora in a comeback fight. I don't know. But seriously, on a serious note, Shannon Briggs shouldn't be anywhere near the top 10 and he should not be getting any title shots. That's my opinion. I mean, maybe Shannon Briggs could, could, could go down the butterbean route and, uh, you know, have fights where, you know, he's getting one and two round knockouts and, and doing that. But I don't see Briggs long term future in the heavyweight division. Those are my thoughts. Sorry if I upset a lot of fans and, you know, that's just the way I see it. 
I'm out. Take care.